Hi, it's Heather. I'm back today with another sleek tutorial. I've not done one of these in a couple of months now and picked up another couple of palettes. So I decided instead of using like the kind of discontinued ones and the hard to find palettes, I will use something that's currently in stores that you can pick up from either Superdrug or on their website. Um, or if you're really struggling, eBay or something like that. The palette I'm going to use today is called the Respect Palette and it's from the Chandrila collection. They brought out two palettes, I've got the other one as well. Um, and this is, I'll show you the colours. And these are the colours. So we've got a kind of spectrum of colours from like oranges, reds, pinks, then like some creamy neutral colours and then like quite autumnal kind of taupes, purples and blacks. So it's quite a diverse palette, there's a lot going on in there. So I thought I'd use it to create this look that I'm wearing today. So the tutorial for that is coming up next, so get yourselves comfy. Okay, so I started off by using um, my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Mine's is almost finished. Um, I'm the only one who gets excited when you almost finish a makeup item. I do that. I can't get all it back on now. And then the first colour we're going to take from the palette is this one here. It's called James Brown and it's basically a nice um, dark brown taupe colour. And I'm just going to pack this onto the lid with a, um, a flat shader brush. Next up I'm going to take this colour next to it, this is called Shalimar and it's a nice um, muted, um, it's almost like a warm skin tone colour with like a hint of peach in it, it's quite an unusual colour. I'm going to use this on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to use it um, above the crease just to help with the blending of the next colour. Then with the same brush I'm going to take this nice plummy purple colour up here, this is called Vandellas. It's a nice matte, rich, purpley plum colour. Next up I'm going to take this colour here in the corner, it's called Roberta Black and it's not a um, complete dark, dark black, it's more of a grey black so it's not quite just as harsh as a really intense black and I'm going to take this little um, pencil brush here and I'm just going to pick up some of this colour and run it along the lash line so just kind of like smoking it out as I go. And then I'm just going to start kind of dragging it up the way a little bit towards this purpley colour. And then I'll just blend that with this fluffy brush just a little bit. Now on the lower lash line I'm going to go back to that taupey colour that we've got on the lid here. It's called James Brown and I'm just going to apply that just on the kind of first half of the lower lash line. On the outer part I'm going to use that kind of off black colour um, and just use just a small amount of that just on the outer part of the lower lash line.
then I'm going to take a bit of that plummy purpley colour that we used in the crease and I'm going to just apply that over the top. And then just to kind of smoke it out and blend it out a bit, I'm going to take my blending brush. This has still got some of that purple colour on it and I'm just going to blend that all out. For highlight colour, these are all matte, the lighter colours in this palette. So I'm going to take this one here, it's called Cameo Cream and it's basically what it is, it's like a light off-white cream colour. Just going to take a little bit of that on the brush and just apply that under the brow. I'm just bringing it down a little bit into the teardrop area and I'm just going to take a little bit more and just concentrate that right on the inner corner. It's not like a really strong colour, it just provides a little bit of lightness just in the very inner corners of the eye. So that's the eyes done. Now I'm going to go and apply my uh, liner and mascara. I'm going to go and put some foundation on because um, I can see in the viewfinder that I need it. <laughs> um, so I'll apply the products to the rest of my face and then I'll come back and show you what I'm wearing. So that's the look complete. Um, I'll quickly run over what else I've used on my face. Um, the foundation I've used is the Avon Ideal Flawless Foundation in the colour Golden. And the concealer that I've used is Illamasqua Concealer. The blush that I've used is Dainty by MAC. It's just like a nice um, everyday pink colour. And... And on my lips I've used the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Nude Peach, which is one of my favourite just go-to uh, lip glosses with any kind of look really. And to finish off the eyes, I have filled in my eyebrows with this shade here at the end, this kind of ashy grey brown shade. It's called Suede and it's by NYX. It just comes in this trio but you can buy this singly as well. I've been using this since I've had my blonde hair on my eyebrows because um, it's much better than the one I was using before. It was just making them too dark. The liner that I have on is MAC Black Track just plain black gel eyeliner and the mascara I've got on I would probably have liked to have used, used some false eyelashes on this but I'm going actually out to college to do a qualification after I finished filming this so I thought false eyelashes not really that appropriate for that um, so I've just put on this mascara here it's a new one that I picked up it's the Revlon Fabulash mascara in dark black don't know about this it's very dry but it does keep my lashes curled so I just slathered on some of that and then curled my eyelashes as well. Um, and I think that's all that I used, is it? Yes. So that's all that I used. Um, so this is a nice look um, for daytime if you were brave enough or like a night out or if you're like me just going to college or something like that. Um, you could wear this. I like that palette that I used today. It's got a nice mix of different colours. The other side of the palette has a lot more um, oranges and reds and stuff like that. So I might do a look using that. If I don't film it for YouTube, it'll be over on my blog. All the details for that will be below. If you want to check out um, like clearer pictures of this look, then head over there as well. All the information for that will be in the description bar below. And until next time, bye!